Hello British Literature students. Welcome to the fourth week of the summer semester. Um, we are now into hard times. So I've uh, graded all the reading quizzes for Frankenstein and I'm working my way through the Frankenstein papers. Hopefully by about midweek I should have them all finished and have them returned to you. At least that's my goal. Now it may be the end of the week but I'm, I'm striving right now to try to get them to you by the middle of the week, but there are a lot of you in this class, so if I'm a little bit uh, slower than you'd like, then I apologize for that. All right, the big news for hard times is the reading quiz is now up. It's 25 questions, all short answers, just like they were with Frankenstein, so uh, take notes as you read through it or highlight any passages, uh, whatever it is you need to do in order to be ready to... Uh, Take that quiz. Also go through the uh, question choices. I think there are like nine of them you can choose from. So uh, think about those question choices as you're reading also so you'll know what you want to write about in the paper. Um, that paper and that quiz are not due until you've got almost two weeks. It's not this Friday, but the following Friday, the 23rd. So, But you'll have your other papers back by then. You'll be able to look through them and you'll be able to uh, get an idea of what I'm looking for in the papers. Uh, so that's about it. That's all I have to say for this week's video. I hope you're enjoying Hard Times. It's a really good book. I'm writing my doctoral dissertation on it. And uh, I think that uh, you'll see a side of Charles Dickens you may not have seen as you've read something like maybe Oliver Twist or uh, David Copperfield or something like that if you've read that in the past. Many of you probably had to read Great Expectations. Hard Times is very different from Great Expectations. I think you'll like it better than Great Expectations. So uh, with that in mind, um, Happy reading. If you have any questions or uh, need any help, please contact me and let me know.